Hi. Here is a, a little tutorial on how to use the Adelani Virtual Learning Environment app. It was designed by Adelani himself. It's a very robust platform and we are going to check it out on the phone. What you are watching presently is the phone, not the laptop. And I believe uh, through research that a lot of people is having with the phone. Now, the, the website address is Atelani vle.ng slash ad slash login slash index dot php. That's where you log in. As you will begin to see, you tap on that and it takes you straight to the login page as it will soon be display on your phone. It's loading. Yeah, exactly. This is it. You can see up here you are not logged in. Adi VLE log into your account. Use your username, password, login. Or have you forgotten your username or password? Leave all this alone. You have nothing to do there. That is my name. Adi was Michael Adelani. And that is my address. Adi was Michael Adelani, Lagos State University of Job. That's my contact, my phone number, and my email. I see it is uh, copyright 2020 developed by Adios Michael Adelani. So we have nothing to do with those ones, but just for reference purposes, you want to get in touch with me through email or through my phone number. Now, you should have gotten the username and the passport. However, if you have not, you just follow through on how to do it. You will get the username and the password later. I type in my username by tapping on top of that to give me access to now uh, how to type in my username. So my username is test uh, one has been given to me. Then I go to my password and I put in I put in my password let me save I'm trying to put in my uh, password. Once you put in your password, just tap login. And you wait for it to respond to you exactly. As you can see, I'm in. I'm in. If you scroll up, you see other information that is there. And then you can see up here, if you tap that up there, you can see log out, but you are not logging out. If you tap the cross sign here, it shows you all this. If you tap it again, the cross sign, it closes. If you tap this line, one, two, three lines, it opens up for you. Tap it for it to open up for you. You can see the dashboard, the calendar, private file, my courses. And the course you are being registered for will be displayed here. So I'm being registered for introduction to computer study slash Microsoft application. I tap on it, which takes me into the uh, program itself. All right, it is welcome to scroll from Adelani saying, saying welcome to Adelani virtual learning environment. Thank you. And what you are seeing here is a video. Well, let me let me navigate now. It's still loading. 
If I scroll down, I should be able to see my week one introduction to computers. Uh, at the same time, well, it's talking. Talking, giving a welcome address. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Adelardi. We are already in class now. For the week one introduction to computers, you have the timetable, you have the lesson notes, you have video one, two, three, four, and five videos. Then you have discussion forum, you have week quiz week one. He's saying for discussion forum, he's saying discuss in no more than 50 words areas of applications of computer system. Then for the quiz week one, I think please attend this week one quiz. Then I also have week two, uh, history of computers, nothing has been there except only for the timetable. It hasn't been populated as of the week one. I've listened to the welcome video. What's the next thing for me? Let me look at my timetable. Let me look at what I have for the whole week. A tap on it is to display the timetable for me, showing to me what I'm expecting for the week. You know, for the week, the week starts from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wow, people might be saying, ah, is it possible to have class on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Well, as you can see, it is possible. If you look there, if you look here, you see timetable for lesson one, introduction to computer. Uh, you see what you are going to do. You read lesson notes, watch video lesson. It's available for 24 hours. For Tuesday also, it's available for 24 hours. When I say discussion forum, which opens 6 a.m. and closes 6 p.m. For Thursday, I am free. Oh, thank God I am free for Thursday. Friday is a quiz. Aha. I have to attend the quiz on Friday. If you look here, it opens at 6 a.m. and closes 6 p.m. Ow! I have to ensure that I attempt to before it closes. Now, how do I go back? How do I go back? You see where you are having jump to? If you tap it down, it shows you all your courses, all the activities. Where do you want to go to? Where do you want to go to? You are still on lesson notes. One, week one, you can see if you want to go to week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, uh, week six, seven, eight, nine, down to timetable for lesson 15, end of course, which is the last one. If you want to go there, you just tap on it. But I've seen my, uh, my timetable. So let me look at the lesson notes. I can tap it and it takes me straight to my lesson notes. Now, my lesson notes, you can see video lesson notes one, part one. Okay, this is not where I want to go to. I want to read my lesson notes. My lesson notes is what I want to read. Uh, this, is, this is it. But if, this is it, you can see here, click lesson notes on topic one yes and let me click on it once i click on it it's going to show me my lesson notes which uh will be reading as you can see it's trying to open it up for me and my phone is going to open it for me yes this is my lesson notes that i need to read they are small i can make it big enough and here it is I have my lesson notes to read. I see my objective, I see my content, then I can begin to do the reading. This is the reading. I read about definition of computer, 
Classification of computers, classification of digital computers, uh, and always enlarges. Uh, introduction to computer, and I have graph there. I mean, I have uh, images there. Is is the keyboard, the mouse, and all, and all. That is how to navigate through. If I want to go back, I click on my back, my phone, which returns me back to the learning environment. But however, if this jump to is confusing, I can always tap on my, you can see home, I can see the next slide is introduction to computer studies slash Microsoft application, week one introduction to computers, lesson notes week one. The best thing I just do is just to tap on my week one introduction to computers. Once you tap on it, it takes you to everything that has to do with your week one, as you can see there. Now for the discussion forum, if you tap on it, it is just the way I've done. It takes me to the discussion forum. When I scroll up, wow, it's telling me the due date for posting to this forum is Wednesday, 16 December 2020. See, uh, I can't do anything yet. Can't do anything yet, so I have to wait till I have to wait till December 16. So how do I go back? I'll tap again on my introduction. No, I tap on my week one introduction to computers. I tap. It takes me to where I will see all my activities for the first week. Which there they are. And for the quiz, let's see how it looks like. You tap on the quiz, week one. Uh, let's see how it looks like. Okay, it's telling me, please attend this week quiz. This week quiz. This week one quiz. Attempts allowed is just one. This quiz will not be available until 18. Oh, no. Trying to close. Oh, no. Wow. So I have to wait till 18th December for that next upper week Friday. So I have to wait and wait. So how do I go back? I tap on my week one, which takes me back to my week one. I'm back to my week one. Now I want to read. I want to listen to the videos. I want to watch what Adela is having. For week video lesson notes one part one, I have part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. Let me tap on video lesson part one and see what the guy is having. So I'm tapping on it, it gives me a video frame, a video embedded frame. Let me see what this guy the stuff the guy has. I tap on it to play. Still trying, yes. It's tried, it has connected. But it's too loud. I have to reduce. It's playing already. And you can see it's small. If I just do a tap on it, you see this rectangle tap, this rectangle, I tap on the rectangle to make it wider. You can see it's wide enough. You can see it's wide enough, but if I want it to be much more wider, I can do my settings. I can go to my settings, uh, use my auto rotate. I have my auto rotate, and I go back there again. I tap on it, I can rotate it. And make it uh, much more wider as you can see it is much more wider that I can read I can listen to what Mr. Delaney is uh, actually saying and there it is I can just devote just uh, 15 to 20 minutes per day for all this, and there I am learning. I'm working, I am learning. I'm 
working and I am learning. I'm done listening to you. I'll tap again on my week one introduction to computers. Now, tapping on it takes me back to everything that I have on my week one. And there's a scrolling up here trying to tell me that I need to please always I check the timetable. All right. If there's any further information, you can always get to me. That's my contact detail and my email address. And once you are done, you need to log out. Just tap on this uh, image of woman. Tap on it, and you see log out. So tap on the log out, and there you are. You are off it. So you can so you just get back to my front page. And uh, that is it. Thank you.